I'll give you one guess as to what this week's Make Something Monday is about. That's right, baskets. I went to a yard sale this weekend and found a lot of baskets for 25 cents. So, I figured, hey, why not? I need to make baskets anyway. And they had some really cool baskets. Like, this one would be really great for food. <laughs> I'm moving it. I'm not really showing it. But, uh, it'll be really great for food. This basket is really deep. So, you definitely have to look for a more shallow basket, especially if you're giving it away. Now, this basket would be perfect. Uh, for you know like a little gift basket, but I like this basket a lot and my friend actually gave me this particular basket Which I really really like and I don't want to get rid of <laughs> She's probably gonna look at my video and go what the what? No way you were supposed to make something with that basket, but I really like this basket and I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I don't want to give it away so we're going to go with the nice little simple basket. Now, uh, you guys probably remember me talking about uh, making a basket for my aunt and my cousin. And which, my cousin is my aunt's, my aunt's daughter. And they're just, they're so sweet. They're just really, really sweet people. Uh, my aunt was actually the one who first introduced me to yard sales. We, she used to go, I mean, get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning and hit the streets going to yard sales. So she was definitely a contributing factor to my frugality. Uh, I, so I definitely want to show her my appreciation because uh, she's just a strong woman. Really sweet, strong woman. Okay, guys, and we're back. So, we're ready to start loading up our basket. All I did here was layered a few pieces of tissue paper, which I'm going to show you that separately in just a moment. Uh, one really great piece of advice that, I mean, a really awesome tip that one of the viewers gave me when I did my candy bouquet was that, hey, Timoni, you should have ironed your tissue paper. And I thought that was just the best advice. As you can tell here, I did not iron it. I kind of like the crinkle look of tissue paper. I think it's really cute. <laughs> so I, I don't typically iron my tissue paper. But for those who are making gift baskets to sell especially, I think that that's a must. I totally agree with that viewer. And I'm going to put her name down so you guys can go and check out her channel also amazing advice really great 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 person so I definitely want you to know who that is and I'll post that at the bottom of the video okay so back to moms this is for my aunt and my cousin like I said they're they live literally their doors face each other in their apartments they're they're very close I love the closeness of my aunt and my cousin uh, my cousin's about four years older than I am. So, I mean, we literally grew up together. We grew up like sisters. So, I watch how she interacts with her children and how she will literally do anything for them. She is a really amazing mom, and she's truly inspiring. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is also the reason why I'm making the basket, which is for my aunt, it's because I feel like since she had such a really great mom, that that inspired her to be a great mom. I mean, their parenting styles are quite similar. They both do anything for their children. My aunt is super amazing. I mean, she used to, oh my God, she makes the absolute best tacos. She used to make tacos for everyone in the everyone in our neighborhood every Friday. And I don't care how much you try, you cannot duplicate her recipe. I grew up in the kitchen with this woman, watching her make these tacos every single Friday. And I cannot duplicate her very simple recipe. And when they say simple is not easy, they are not lying. The recipe is so simple, but I cannot duplicate it. She's just, she's masterful. Hands down, I give it to her. She's the taco queen. <laughs> okay. So, like, she inspired me to, you know, try different things in the kitchen. Her daughters inspired me to 
I mean, just be a great mom, period. They're, they're really great people. And speaking of really great people, the great people at HEB are doing a spa day giveaway. And you guys really ought to get over there and enter this. They want to know who's the best mom in Texas. So that you, all you have to do is go in and let them know, hey, this is the best mom. I think this is the best mom in Texas because of this. Or, I think this is the best mom. I think I'm the best mom in Texas. You know? So, I, I love those kind of little giveaways. But, theirs is really neat because the top 10 moms will win a $500 spa, $500 spa finder gift card. A $1,000 HEB shopping spree. And a $250 L'Oreal gift bag. Isn't that crazy? And just for registering, you're going to be entered for a chance to win your own $1,000 HEB shopping spree. So you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to win. Who does not want $1,000 to shop at HEB? Hello. Around here, HEB is our central market so i mean it's like you get all of the fresh fruits and vegetables and oh i love their meat department oh don't get me started <laughs> i love heb stores they are awesome not to mention the fact that they sell they're the only place i think that sells the dallas cowboys bacon and honey that is the best bacon they've got the bacon and the ham actually so definitely jump on that giveaway I'm also going to be doing a giveaway, thanks to HEB, for telling you guys and for hosting this giveaway, I'll be receiving a $30 HEB gift card. But all you have to do is come to my website, Timonis Tips, and enter to win your own HEB gift card. It's really simple. I want to know who helped you become the wonderful mom that you are. Uh, it could be one person, it could be three people, it could be 50 people. Just tell me who that person is and at, we're, we're going to pick up, we're going to use random.org and pick a random person to win a $30 HEB gift card also. So, I cannot wait for you guys to enter that contest. But, let's get back to the basket. Now, I'm going to show you how I fold this tissue paper later. But now, all I'm going to do is just layer everything inside. Now, some people, like I, I've said before, I don't know if I've edited it out, but some people like to take and put in fillers. I don't care for fillers when I'm doing it, especially when I'm doing a personal gift basket because this is a gift for someone, you know, and I don't want them to end up with a whole bunch of trash in the bottom of the basket. So, I'm going to put in some Olay body wash, which I think she'll really like this. I mean, she loves body wash. Both of them actually love body wash. So, this should be a no-brainer. And now, I opened up those other gift sets. Didn't pay any attention, but this lotion is Vanilla Daisy. And my aunt loves Vanilla Feels <laughs> perfume. She's got, she likes the vanilla feels. She actually got me on the vanilla feels. So, I really, really like that. And, oh, sorry, I had to shake that lotion up. But, uh, she's really, really, really a big fan of vanilla. So, I want to make sure that I put in plenty of vanilla for her. And I don't just olay everything up. And I'm going to mix up this gift set, so... I'll give her like some vanilla, since she's a big fan of it. Vanilla lotion, a little <laughs> vanilla body wash. And since this basket isn't just for her, I'll throw in some Plumeria body wash for my cousin, who's just a sweetie pie. I'm going to really hook him up with the vanilla, though. But I'm putting in all this stuff, and... Another thing that I normally would not mix the gift basket, normally, <laughs> but who says I'm normal, right? No, I would not 
originally mix up the gift basket whenever I'm doing a, like a bath type gift basket with this set for instance I wouldn't put in something that's not a bath product but my aunt loves my cookies and I've, I've posted the what I've actually posted my recipe on those cookies before but <laughs> on my website so if you guys want just the recipe for my cookies then you can go on there but she likes my chocolate chip especially so I'm going to give her some chocolate chip cookies with pecans and some chocolate chip cookies that have almonds in them and I think that my aunt would really 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 enjoy this basket but what I'm going to do uh oh my basket runneth over <laughs> What I'm going to do, instead of doing a totally separate basket for the food, I'm going to just strategically set little cookie pockets all over the basket. Well, I don't know, because that basket's pretty full. So, <laughs> I may just stop right here. I think that'll be a good idea. It's a nice weighted basket, and it's not even that many items. And they've come from my, my stockpile. I got this soap for free. These soaps were, oh, these these were free also. The all, the all the body washing soaps were free. The gift sets cost me 49 cents, and I still have tons of stuff from the gift sets left to where I can make another gift basket if I need to, which I do, because my mom is going to get an all-blue gift basket for her Mother's Day gift. Now the only thing I have left to do is break out my ribbon. So I'll go ahead and get some ribbon pulled out, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my ribbon attached and if you have any excess ribbon, just cut it off. I'm going to go with just the purple on the top. And then it just, it didn't even dawn on me that I didn't put any purple in here. So I may have to go through and see if I have a little purple. I'm not certain. I just, I kind of like that variation of purple and purple is my aunt's very favorite color. So don't too much want to mess with that. Okay, so for the next step, we're just going to wrap a piece of ribbon around the basket. And I'm going to leave an open spot. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm hot gluing it again. Ooh, and I'm making a mess. That's what I get for doing it upside down, right? Hope you guys can see this. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And that's easy to clean up, don't worry. Of course, don't touch hot glue, but I touch hot glue quite often. So I'm kind of used to it. And you're just going to take and twirl your basket around. Try not to get in that hot glue that I just dropped. And you'll about halfway on the back hot glue a little bit more mm -hmm. try to keep your ribbon straight I know you guys have to be thinking wow that ribbon is not gonna come around and make a bow no it is not <laughs> and it's not supposed to But I'm telling you guys, I got my this particular basket, for instance, one quarter at a yard sale. So next time you see a yard sale, stop. Because you don't want to miss out on good finds like this. I mean, you could turn this into your basket making business if that's, you know, what you choose to do. And I'm thinking I better change out my tissue paper or fluff it up or something. But just, you know, make changes as you go. Our next step. Now, I want you to see the front of the basket. See how it doesn't even connect there? I don't want it to connect. Okay? I'm going to clear off my space, get some of the hot glue I wasted up, and we're going to make a bow. Okay, guys. So, now you see before you just simple pink and purple ribbon. 
we're going to make a bow. You can make any kind of bow at this point, but I think like the simplest bow that I know how to make would be the one I'm about to show you right now. For this portion of the project, you're going to need your ribbon. Whatever color you choose, you can do this with one color or you can do it with more than one color uh, like I'm doing here. But all you're going to do is simply just fold it. Oh, and you're also going to need pipe cleaners. Actually, just one. So you're just going to fold it just like you have been folding it. And I'm hoping I'm in the camera here. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much of this you guys have seen, but you're just doing a simple fold. That's it. Really, really simple. Nothing difficult whatsoever. Okay. So, once you have it all folded, you'll take pipe cleaner and about midway through is where you're going to tie your pipe cleaner. To make the center of your bow kind of go in just a little. And you don't have to tie it too tight. I mean, it, that's all totally up to you. But one of these, the, my purple ribbon seems to have wire in it. And not having wire would have been a much better idea for me. Now, all you have to do is take this little ribbon and start fluffing it out into a bow. Okay, it's hot gluing time. I have my bow all fluffed up. So now I'm going to go ahead and start hot gluing it to the basket. I would highly suggest doing all of the decorating of the outside of the basket first. That's what I should have done. But you know what they say, hindsight is 2020. So, okay. And I'm just going to hot glue that on here. Mash the bow as tightly as I can. Get as much of it to stick as I can. And I'll probably need to refluff this in the end. I'm going to tell you guys right now that you definitely will want to. Because you're going to be using a lot of all the pretty that you already made to make it stick. Okay. And I just don't have enough glue to hold this big old heavy bow.